Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome to another episode of Team Minus 365. In today's lesson, I'm going to be showing you a high-level introduction into Azure Sentinel, Microsoft's cloud-native SIM and SOAR solution. Getting into it here, Azure Sentinel is a powerful part of the Microsoft Defender XDR offering. Sentinel is a cloud-native SIM that can collect, analyze, and normalize data across cloud and on-premise workloads, whether or not they are natively within Microsoft. It can detect signals across many different domains, including users, devices such as laptops or phones, applications, infrastructure, email, and even IoT devices. Azure Sentinel does a great job of normalizing data coming through and investigating potential threats with the use of AI and machine learning in your environment over time. Yeah, there's user and entity behavioral analytics to better detect anomalies in activity within your environment. Using integration with Azure Logic Apps, you can establish automated playbooks that trigger once certain events occur. I think it's important to quickly go over what exactly a SIM and source solution are so you can have a better understanding of Azure Sentinel and some of its benefits over traditional SIM tools. SIM stands for Security Incident and Event Management. A SIM usually has many features, but at a very rudimentary level, it can collect and query log data, do some form of correlation or anomaly detection, and create alerts and incidents based off of its findings. SOAR stands for Security Orchestration, Automation, and Response. SOAR tools are a step up from SIM tools in that they perform automated response to incidents, create automated workflows from triggers, and orchestrate tasks across disparate systems. To drive home the importance of a SIM or source solution, I want to quickly reference some basic architecture you might see for a company. In this use case, we have a company with some on-premise infrastructure protected with a firewall set up with Barracuda. Users are syncing up into Azure AD, and the company is using Proofpoint for email protection. Some resources are also spun up in AWS that supplements the web server running on-prem. The company's example will have to be working out of many disparate portals that are each displaying unique security events. This is an oversimplified use case in most businesses. Security signals may be coming from potentially 20 or more different systems. This is where Azure Sentinel comes into play. As you can see here, you're able to connect all of your data sources. Azure Sentinel can then funnel all those data points that we just referenced on the previous slide from the architecture to normalize, analyze, and correlate data into incidents. You could configure automated response activities and perform advanced threat detection all within a single portal. New indicators of compromise can be created over time with the help of the AI and machine learning going on across all the data points. I think there is an important separation that a SIM tool should not just be a data lake where you can access all the information across systems. A SIM tool, like Azure Sentinel, should be correlating events for you so you can ultimately save time and focus on being more proactive about threats within your organization. If you watched my previous courses, I've covered both Microsoft 365 Defender and Azure Defender. Azure Sentinel fits uniquely within the solution to triage all alerts into a single portal. It's also able to ingest data from other cloud environments such as AWS, as well as third-party providers you might use for on-prem or cloud protection as well. That's everything I wanted to showcase for you guys today in this introduction video to Azure Sentinel. We'll be unpacking a lot of these features in the next couple of lessons. Stay tuned for my next lesson. We'll be dissecting the connection of data sources within the Azure Sentinel portal. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.